How much confidence at this point do you have in, in models that show a 2% increase in, in Celsius over the next 100 years? I don't think I, anyone has any confidence in them. I certainly are have no you confidence in them. You know, you're gonna, I'm immediately going to get mail that, that you're funded by Exxon or by the hydrocarbon industry. Do, are, do you have any vested interests, any c conflicts that cause you to have these views and, uh, that are, uh, many people would say, anti-science or, or at least against the scientific community? Well, you know, I consider myself part of the scientific community, you know, I got You must a get a lot of, of flack, don't you, but... Professor? Don't you get a lot of flack? Yeah, of course. But so what? You know, that's been true forever. You know, when Galileo had his tiff with the church, he got a lot of flack, too. Right. Go ahead, Andrew. Professor, I, I, have, I have some issues with all of this, obviously, because you don't believe in climate change um, at all. Uh, you made a comment. Just back a minute. In, just a minute. Just a you, minute. You I believe in climate change. change. No, sir, Shut up. Sir, I, I'm, open, I'm, op, I'm open to all ideas. You made a comment back in 2009 comparing climate change to the Holocaust. Um, and my question is, are you suggesting when you made that comment uh, that climatologists and climate scientists are the equivalent of Hitler and Nazis? I mean, that, that's what it seems like you were trying to say. You know, you know, I get called a denier, and all, anyone who uh, objects to all of the hype gets called a denier. That's supposed to make me a Holocaust denier. You know, I'm getting tired of that. And uh, the, the comment I made was uh, the demonization of carbon dioxide is just like the demonization of the poor Jews under Hitler. Carbon dioxide is a, actually a benefit to the world, and so were the Jews. How much money did you take from Exxon over the years in the, in the aughts up to 2008? I haven't taken a dime from Exxon. I have not taken one dime from Exxon. The foundation that you worked for didn't take money from, from Exxon? You weren't paid by them? I don't work for the foundation. I'm a trustee of the Marshall Institute, and I'm proud of it. The Marshall Institute, for example, stood for missile defense, which has saved a lot of uh, lives in Israel over the last two weeks. I mean, I get no thanks to many of its opponents. All right, Professor, we, we appreciate your time today. I get, I get accused of yeah, I have no oil so I've got, I, I put gasoline in my car. Therefore, I that's that's my vested interest, and uh, I do use gasoline. No, no, everyone, I, look, I do use I'm open to all of these views. Do you think that do you think that any um, any of the alarmists have a vested interest in this working? I think, I think a lot of people an, have a lot of vested interest in a I lot of so things, too, but yeah. I just wanted to make clear that he has yeah. a vested interest in this as well. Uh, coming up, uh, a big.